DJ, DJ, Eric, Eric. Okay, so let's talk about Danny Lee. Okay, um, for most of y'all who don't know who this girl is, she is a dancer who happens to sing. And she got a song out, put out a song a couple of years ago with Chris Brown. And that basically like catapult her into like being a well-known um, new R&B singer. And now she's more so making headway, you know, uh, headlines, you know, making waves, not because of her music, but more so because she is now um, it, having relations with the rapper, the baby. Right. And I don't even want to say the baby name because it's like, that's a grown man. Why he want to be called the baby? It's whatever. Oh, I'm just tired of the littles, the babies. You about 30 years old calling yourself a baby. You a grown man. I don't know. Anyway, she in a relationship with the baby. All right. The baby got a baby mama. I'm going to say baby a lot. So stick with me. Got a baby mama. She's a dark skinned woman. Okay, he has a baby by the baby mama, of course. Okay, and he hops the baby hops between Danny Lynn or Danny Lee bed and his baby mama's bed. Allegedly, I gotta say allegedly. Okay, like I said in my entire thing, everything is alleged, and that's what we're gonna say. Um, and hopping between these two women, allegedly, Danny Lee is, I guess, I would say. She went from side piece to main woman, but still kind of like a side piece because he got an entire family over here. You know, he got a child with this woman and they allegedly still are dealing with each other. It's just a messy love triangle. That's what we want to call this. A messy love triangle full of colorism and effery of all proportions. Now, when I say it's colorism, it's because, okay, Danny Lee, okay, basically decided to go on instagram and social media and post a video it was tiktok actually but of course it's already all over social media and once you drop it on tiktok it's everywhere okay um dropping a song called yellow bone is what he likes and the song just sounds the song before anything the message is it, outside of the message being effed up it's just the song itself is just pure garbage like it's just like throw it in a dumpster you know burn it up it's just garbage okay it just smells stank the song just ain't it's just not hitting you know what i'm saying but she was trying to people are legend she was trying to hackle the baby's baby mama the dark skin a dark skin brown skin black woman okay and trying to say that the baby left the baby mama because he's wants a light skin non-black woman but the thing is she called herself a yellow bone and in the black community a yellow bone or a red bone is a very light-skinned black woman with two black parents okay not mixed or anything like that or not you know caucasian but a light-skinned black woman okay now danny lee has posted her ancestry that showed that she is basically Spaniard in European okay and she's from the Dominican Republican okay so uh, Dominican Republic excuse me um so she's not even a yellow bone and she's trying to drag a black woman for being a black woman and basically saying that this man is choosing her over the baby mama because the baby mama is too dark and she just so light and so amazing and so whatever. That's basically what she's trying to insinuate with the song. And basically everybody on Twitter, black, light skinned black people, the real yellow bones, the red bones, the brown skinned girls, everybody came and dragged this woman to filth and had to get her set and checked and in order for what they call black fishing now what people don't know what black fishing is is when a non-black woman basically try to like or you know someone who, who clearly isn't of black descent of any type or anything like that trying to capitalize off the culture it's kind of like being a culture vulture but it's like your entire lifestyle is like you pretending to be black 
when you're not black and you just pretending to be something that you're not or you're trying to be black but at the same time you're trying to make fun of dark-skinned black people and and be a colorist and racist all together but you want to sleep black but you want to dog the black women this is in particular it's usually mostly um women that do stuff like this and i see on tiktok and everything else and i think that made danny lee feel like okay i could possibly get away with something like this i could i could just go out here and i could sit here and be trying to be funny and basically say oh this dark skinned girl is ugly this is what this song is basically about it's about you saying uh yellow bonus or whatever it said it was what he like what he like what he like okay um so are you saying that you know because we already noticed they allegedly got a beef with the baby mama and the baby mama is a very dark-skinned black woman she's a dark-skinned black woman beautiful dark-skinned black woman the baby has a dark-skinned daughter you know what i'm saying so when you have things like this where you have a woman who is not black okay not black at all sitting here and making jokes about dark-skinned black women and you have somebody like the baby that's willing to continue to have relations with a woman like that it makes you wonder like what is the integrity of the rapper that baby and this is a thing that will affect someone's career you know what i'm saying because it's like you might like the baby's music right but then you find out that he's dealing with i mean most rappers they're not faithful but he's dealing with someone like a danny lee who's a colorist who put it out there that she feel like she's better than the person that he procreated with because she's light-skinned you know what i'm saying and and on top of that the baby has a full brown-skinned black daughter that he's that he's raising what example are you giving to your daughter to by allegedly still dating this woman and allegedly having you know and agreeing with this and and the things i was seeing on social media people are alleging that um the baby was egging her on and making it seem like it was okay for her to sit here and throw these insulting comments at his the, at the mother of his child i'm tired of saying baby mama at the mother of his child and when you're saying that you're also he saw she's also insulting your own daughter the baby so i don't understand why you would even want to stay with a woman like that who cares about what color she is at this point you know what i'm saying like i i mean it's a lot it's a lot of light-skinned women out there if you want a light-skinned girl that can still also respect you your daughter and the mother of your child and not be doing these these antics and looking so desperate on the web for attention bro like it's just like tacky and i just i can't get with it i can't get with it anyway danny lee came back and tried to make this dry apology basically talking about some how she she didn't know better and basically saying that she has a dark-skinned boyfriend her boyfriend is black which is the baby and she got black friends and we've seen that she got her little dancer that be up there with her or whatever but her dancer to me you know she's a dark-skinned black woman they be dancing or whatever but she could be viewing her as a flunky you know what i mean the way that her attitude is you be wondering like do you surround yourself with black people so you could just feel better because you have lighter skin because that's how it looks when you're doing stuff like this like i just really think people have to think about the stuff that they do and the way that they present themselves and how easily it could be taken as racism and race bantering and colorism because none of it's okay it's not okay for any race to discri discriminate over any race over a skin tone it's not okay for anybody to bash anybody because of the skin tone if you don't like the baby's mama the baby's baby's mama or whatever because you're in a love triangle maybe you should talk to him about it keep it behind closed doors but don't go on social media thinking that you could just drag and dog black people and get away with it like girl like th this is why and the crazy thing is like i really was I liked the, the song that she had out or whatever. I had no problem with her. But now I can't support her music no more because she just did something that was could be deemed racist. And then you go on, on Instagram and she basically talking about some, oh, you know, I have a black boyfriend. I have black friends. And that's the same thing what people say when they get caught racist. And they'll be like, oh, you know, uh, I'm not a racist. Uh, I have one black friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the black friend is like, you know, they, <laughs> like, come on now. Like, it's just like it's i can't take this apology and also the breakfast club the way the breakfast club was trying to downplay the whole situation it's just like charlamagne and all of y'all over there y'all should be ashamed of yourself trying to make it seem like this is not a big deal this is something that goes on in the black community colorism is a real thing racism is a real thing and the fact that y'all just trying to laugh and giggle the whole thing off like it's whatever just shows how warped minded 
people in the music industry is, especially the men that happen to be black men in the industry is, when it comes to black women and respecting black women and the colorism that they put on other black women and, get, and tell them that, oh, you're prettier because you are light skinned or, oh, you're okay looking, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl. They're like, this is stuff that these women have to deal with. It's like, and it's unfortunate that there's so many men that are black full of black that encourage this behavior you know but y'all don't want white people discriminating against us but you're helping the women discriminate on each other you know it's just like it all got to stop it really all got to stop and honestly at this point i just feel like if they don't buy her music no more that's just what it is oh well because you got to think before you speak like really danny lee like you i don't know what she was thinking i don't know if she just thought that she could get away with it because she's um ambiguous or whatever i don't i really don't know but it just wasn't a good look and it's not cute ain't nothing funny about it period just disrespectful anyway um how much time i got left y'all uh okay so beyonce is coming out with a new line new ivy park collection it is a winter collection now listen it is august what what, what why i say it's august <laughs> it is january 25th right and i'm the reason why i say august because i'm thinking about summertime right the summertime is coming soon spring is coming and beyonce and them they dropping a winter line right now and net to tell in the winter and i'm just like why couldn't she drop this in in the you know december or something but you know what i had to think and i'm just like you know what it is about to be tax season. Tax season is coming. Beyonce, you know, she is a smart marketing woman because she said they'll still wear these winter clothes even if it's hot outside, baby. All I need to make sure is that they get these tax returns and they buy all this out. And I'm telling you, this new line is so popping that you're gonna be walking around in, in a ski suit and um, some boots in the middle of August, okay? In the middle of the summer. You know, I mean, it's Beyonce fans. They're crazy. <laughs> Beehive fans are really... You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if I seen a few of them walking around in this uniform in the middle of the springtime. It's hot. They have me hot as hell. They just like, you know what? Just keep the air conditioner on blast. We're gonna have our blue ivy outfits on. We're about to do this for Queen B. Well, all right, Beyonce, do what you gotta do and make your money. But anyway, so the collection actually just dropped. She just put it on social media. It's on her um on her um, Instagram is where I had seen it pop up. Um, and then I went to just like look at it, whatever. It was a nice dope, um, you know slideshow of uh pictures and all that stuff of the models just showing off the whole outfit and everything else and then she put out the course the um commercial video whatever for it so yeah that's dope that's dope that's dope um i haven't bought any blue ivy clothing or well i said blue ivy i mean <laughs> ivy park clothing because you know it's, it's named at the blue ivy it's just whatever i haven't bought any ivy park clothing yet um have any of you guys bought any ivy park clothing did you guys really like it like y'all tell me if y'all like the clothing if um if it's something that you're um enjoying is it comfortable clothing i mean i know it sells out soon as it releases so i know it's probably like a small one percent of people who actually get to get a hold of beyonce clothing so if you guys happen to get a hold of beyonce clothing you are one of the one percent of the world who's able to wear queen bee's clothing you guys tell me uh how does it feel you know what i'm saying is it comfy do you like it you know i feel like this is like one of her this is her successful uh cold line because she had a house of dairy on way back in the day and you know that's where her mom or whatever and that didn't do that didn't do too well but this look like this clothing line is definitely solid and she's gonna be on her rihanna ish you know what i'm saying because rihanna is killing it when it comes to products and game and everything else you know what i'm saying um so y'all tell me what y'all think about that new ivy park collection that's coming out of winter <laughs> See, I'm telling you, it's a marketing thing. Like, how is you gonna drop winter clothes and we about to start spring in March? I don't, I don't know. Y'all don't know. Y'all tell me. But anyway, um... DJ. DJ.